Senator Rafi Tulfo, chairman of the Senate Committee on Public Services, recently raised a valid question. Do buyers of second-hand vehicles need to register these under their name to the LTO? Apparently, many don't. And these cause many problems that reach his Rafi Tulfo in Action Public Service program. He cites cases of people complaining of having been scammed by sellers of vehicles which have been sold and resold multiple times. Tulfo also cited cases of authorities having difficulty tracing perpetrators of criminal acts that involve the use of second-hand vehicles. Many such cases are reported in the news. Investigations into shooting incidents or serious accidents hampered because the vehicles involved have been sold or resold, but changes in ownership were never reflected in the LTO registry. Lawyers say it is in the interest of both seller and buyer to formally transfer names and the certificates of registration of vehicles. For sellers, it relieves them from liability or any problems involving the vehicle while being operated by its new owner. For buyers, the procedures for transfer of ownership or registration with the LTO involves getting a clearance from the PNP HPG is not on the alarm list. It should also make it easier for new owner to resell the vehicle in the future with his name on the certificate of registration instead of just the deed of sale. There are many reasons why people don't bother with or prioritize going to the LTO to change the name of the registration papers. But mainly it redounds to laziness or avoidance of the cost of transfer and because it seems not really mandatory. The transfer of ownership should normally be the responsibility of the seller, but in many cases, buyers agree to shoulder some or more of the costs. Senator Tulfo wants to prevent more problems resulting from buyers or sellers ignoring the need or advantage to formalize the change of ownership of vehicles with the LTO. He plans to file a bill mandating buyers or sellers to register the sale and transfer of ownership of used vehicles with the LTO within 10 days after the sale. The penalty for not doing this is immediate impounding of the vehicle. But even without law, sellers and buyers of used vehicles are encouraged to do the right thing and head to the LTO and registering the vehicles under their names. That's our Morning Forum this week, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.